Good morning. I have got your Sunday at home workout for you. If you're able to join us here online uh, at 930, we're going to be doing our same Sunday class just from online. Uh, we have got a great hero wad for you today. Uh, even though we got a lot of you guys equipment, we know there's some people that are still getting there. So today we really kept it body weight um, and it is a good one. The good news is we can still crush you with body weight workouts. And so uh, we're going to continue to add those into the mix because there's going to be a lot of people that either don't have uh, equipment or they maybe don't have the space to put equipment and do uh, equipment-based workouts. So we're still going to have body weight workouts in the mix, uh, but we will be programming also for people that have light equipment, full-on gym sets, uh, everything else uh, this week. So uh, here's, here we go. Here's what we got for the warm-up today. You're going to be doing two rounds, one-minute jump rope. Just start out with those singles and get a little bit more spicy with the double unders as you get into that minute. Uh, if you don't have a jump rope or don't have a place to jump, perfect. This is a great way to work on your jump rope technique. Just use your hands just like you would a jump rope. Keep them at your sides, elbows tucked in, get that little spin. Same thing when you're doing your double unders. Faster wrists and a little bit higher jump every single time. Then we're going to do 10 front squats. I'm sorry, 10 front lunges, 10 side lunges, and then 10 reverse lunges. So all the way forward, touch that knee, switch legs, just back and forth, five each leg. Then you're going to go into the side lunge, get really deep with it, back and forth every single time. And then you're going to do 10 reverse lunges where you're just stepping back each time. After that, you're going to do 10 opposite starfish. Keep those legs uh, completely straight and you're just reaching opposite, hand to toe, back and forth. Get those hamstrings loosened up. Get that back twist in. You're going to need it for this workout today. Finally, we're doing 10 plank balance. So this time I want you to go from your hands, straight torso, and just back and forth here, five each side. If you need to go from your knees, you can do that as well. So two rounds, one minute jump rope, 10 front lunges, 10 side lunges, 10 reverse lunges, then 10 opposite starfish, and 10 plank balance. After that, get set up, get ready, get your uh, something to count with, something to time you, uh, and we've got Laredo today. So uh, today in Laredo, you're going to be doing 24 air squats, 24 push-ups, 24 walking lunges, and a 400 meter run, or a two minute run, or run in place, uh, and you're going to need those six rounds for time. Uh, real quick, before I get into the, the nitty gritty of it, I want to go through, um, so Laredo is a hero wad, and uh, U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Edward Laredo of Houston, Texas, assigned to the 2nd Battalion, uh, parachute infantry regiment, uh, combat team, and airborne division based in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, was killed on Ju June 24, 2010 in Juluar, Afghanistan, when insurgents attacked his unit with an improvised explosive device. He is survived by his wife, First Sergeant Jennifer Laredo, his daughter, Laura Isabel, his stepdaughter, Alexis, and his son, Eduardo Enrique. So this is a workout where we really want you to kick it up a notch, go a little harder, go a little faster. Don't let yourself get interrupted. Just go through it unbroken. Get as, go as hard as you can, go as fast as you can. Think about the sacrifice he and so many other servicemen around our, and, when, and women around our country have made uh, to protect our freedom especially in a time like this, because they are still out there uh, doing everything that they can to make sure we are, all st we are all staying safe. So six rounds, 24 air squats. Make sure you get those air squats in deep. Get that full range of motion. Keep that chest up the entire time. After that, you're going to be doing 24 push-ups. You can go from your hands and toes all the way up and down or from your knees all the way up and down. Again, make sure you're getting the full range of motion. Just because nobody's looking, if you're doing this on your own, please don't cheat those reps. Then you've got 24 walking lunges. 
You can walk if you don't have a big space, a couple of steps, and then turn around and go the other way. Uh, if you need to just do a standing lunge, that's totally fine. Then you're going to run 400 meters. You can either run a minute out and a minute back. You can use an app like Map My Run or DAF Logic, which I will explain a little bit later today, to be able to uh, get your uh, distance down and know where your distances is, are, or you can just uh, run in place for two minutes. And just keep on the balls of your feet. Like we've talked about a couple times, this is really going to help get your form and technique when, with running. Uh, so have fun with it. Go hard, go fast. Record your score and be on the whiteboard. Comment and be on the whiteboard with people so you can connect and stay connected. And please check out our online schedule, uh, which we'll be releasing a little bit later on this afternoon, uh, so you can still get on, still see your people, uh, still work out, and have a lot of fun with it. So uh, thank you so much, guys. Uh, great to see you. We will see you soon. Uh, if you need anything, not just the workouts, if you need anything, please reach out. We are here for you. Uh, we're we're going to do whatever it takes to, to make sure we make it through this uh, with flying colors. So uh, thanks, guys. See you soon.